Now briefly, we come to the Orndale Centre in Manchester that on the 11th of October 2019, yesterday, okay, is said to have undergone a terrorist attack. A man wielding a knife, woo! Now briefly, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that now. I found one piece of footage that is giving, what is it now, 1 minute 15. The longest piece of footage I can find yesterday on the day, okay? There is probably, by now, Saturday the 12th of October, some more footage, which I shall seek if it's out there. However, this is obvious, a fake created event. As soon as I saw it, as soon as I saw it, And you can bet your bottom roll that there's no CCTV camera footage. Secondly, what is featured in the beginning of this is not the Orndale, is not the Orndale Centre. Which it's supposed to have taken place in. Thirdly, what really, really gives the game away? Who the hell would be filming this incident when it was going off, get it to a newspaper, and the newspaper, or whatever the media station, then takes it into an editing suite, they have a discussion beforehand about what should be left in the footage and what should be taken out of the footage. Then it goes into an editing suite and the person slicing or splicing the footage goes by the storyboard that has been drawn up in front of them. In breaking news they do that since when? And for what purpose? Ever ask that? For what purpose. If something is real, it's not cut and pasted. It's bare bones. But this is cut and pasted. It leaps from one piece of film to the other very, very smoothly. And different areas around the Arndale Centre and beyond the Orndale Centre. So it's gone back to be cut and pasted. This is one scene. Okay, they've added that. That's the next scene. And you tell me. People have fled fled the scene. What's this fella doing here? And why hasn't he been told to bugger off by this officer and other officers on the scene? Because this is portraying how the public are helping the police. The police are the heroes. Because at the present time in the United Kingdom, the greatest thugs, murderers, despots, wicked people form our police force and the authorities are desperate to portray the general public as being on the side of a wicked, our most wicked police force. They are trying everything, they even, even put them on this TV thing, Blues and Twos I believe it was called. 
police programmes, where they're trying, showing that they're protecting the public, but behind the pigging scenes, they're attacking the public. The worst part about it was, it was reported that one of these officers on one of these police promotional programmes on your TV had been found guilty afterwards of raping a woman. That's how bad it is. But you don't treat, we know we don't trust the police in this country. They'll stitch you up, they'll hit you, they'll do anything. They absolutely detest. Now, we're not talking about every single police officer. We're talking about 90% of police officers or more. There are some decent officers. But they're very few and far between. So, we have here staged peace. Hey. Okay? That's not the Arndale Centre. <laughs> That's not the Arndale Centre that this fellow was at. at. Neither was he in the Arndale Centre. See, cut and, cut and paste. Again, this is the Arndale Centre. Inside. One of the um, sections of the Arndale Centre. Okay. Run, come on, run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Go hit this farmer, is fun, fun, fun. He'll get by without his rabbit pie. Anyhow, let's just go, go to this. Let's go back to this, okay. Now, we've seen that it is clearly cut and paste, okay. Another point. Who the hell is filming this? Okay, they're filming that. Who's filming it? If there's somebody coming down the Pigging Street and they're stabbing everybody in sight, what are you going to do? Film it? Stand there and film it? You're going to bugger off. Oh, you're going to bugger off. The streets are going to be cleared. Way! Hey? The fellows come down here and they've tasered him and there's somebody here, you see, filming. They're quite tall as well, if you notice. Because they're above the heads of these people. <laughs> and he's rather compliant, isn't he? Where's his knife and the blood? Eh? <laughs> so, you've got this piece of footage from somebody, all right? From the, the, the trying to uh, uh, make it out it's a cell phone, okay, by the by the short short vision, by that vision there, okay, and then I'd like to know how they took him down because they didn't tase him, right? And they've got a just hang on, just hang on a minute. Right, ah, I see, so they're on a bus, oh sorry, a tram, these are trams, they're on a tram, so this person here, filming these, is on a tram, so the tram has stopped. Okay. So, who's taking this footage? <laughs> did the tram run in here, did it? Hey, I think you took the wrong turn. I think I'm off the picking rails. Oh, I think everybody goes off the picking rails. You can believe in this. So who's filmed this and filmed the other and sent it in to the Guardian? Okay. Guardian newspaper. Hmm? And they joined it all up. Here's a bit from Harry. Here's a bit from George. Hey. Secondly, what's wrong with this, this scene? What's wrong with this scene? Okay, let's let's play it out. Let's go back one. Now let's play it out. And by the way, it was it looks as though it's not been raining 
still. It was before. Okay, what's wrong with this scene? What is evidently wrong? It's picking so obvious. It's so friggin' obvious. It's crazy. Come on. Come on. Let's go back a bit. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. And action! And they begin to run. Yes. Fine. So where's members of the public considering that the event went off? somewhere else but better still look around just look around here hey hey now then i'd like to know what time of day this is is it early morning and staff are arriving on the premises or is it of an evening. I would imagine because the people do hang around of an evening, but then again, it, it may be that they shut all the picking doors or something. Either way, if it's either early morning or late of an evening, okay, um, I'm thinking this time of year, if that's open, I can't remember if it is open skylight, as it were, letting in the light, it's early morning then, okay. Now, we say this because all the shops are shut. Oh, the shops are shut. <laughs> People will say, oh, well, they just shut them down in, in, in case he, he gets in here. Oh, my goodness. All the shops are shut. All right. And there's somebody here filming this. So, therefore, then, they expected this. Because this is a set piece. Closed down shops. Look, they've not opened the picking shops yet. Still bars are down. Here, that one's just opened up at some stage. There's that ex uh, fossil thing just opened up as well here. Okay. Oh, and he just happens to be standing in a, a, a shop with this guy or woman filming. All right. To run to where, we don't know. Okay, but they're all shut. So... No more picking shut, the, the, the cages are down, except for even the foss, fossil, fossil. Okay, the card shop here is open. So, as we say, it's either early morning or late. Now let's have a look at the top. The landing, you know, the upper, upper floor. Can't quite make that out if they're open or not. Difficult to know. Uh, but they're all shut. People are either going to work, passing through, wondering what's happening, and then it goes on to this. Again, who's this? Who's filming this? This is a third person. This is a person outside that building. So three people so far have submitted their footage to the Guardian, and the Guardian have taken their time in writing up a story and getting it all edited and the waste of course is on the cutting room floor okay and the third one and there's a, that's sorry a fourth one and this isn't the Arndale Centre by the way this is nothing to do with the Arndale Centre this is miles away from the Arndale Centre so to speak I oh, know where this is, and if you turn picking to the um, on this footage to the right and go down, you'll come come to the um, arena, Manchester Arena. That was a fake event. Helicopter? Come on, who's sending all this footage in? How many? Let's. Uh, let me just check. So, this was the fourth one. Fourth uh, person. Okay. Cut! 
fifth person. Or the fourth person, and these footage has been cut. This is a, a fifth person or sixth person filming. <laughs> and notice, ladies and gentlemen, that it's all specific footage. It's not superfluous. It's, again, it's been cut and pasted. A story has been created in an editing suite according to the storyboard that's been given to the person splicing the footage. So you don't get any superfluous footage at all. As you would if you weren't filming it normally. Now this is something like the sixth person. <laughs> so sent the stuff in, alright? That's it Harry, take your time. Seventh person. Eighth person. And this is nowhere near the place. Eighth person, okay? Yes, got your shopping, man. Oh, well, I got my shopping, all right. I don't know what's going on here. He doesn't know what's going on. He hasn't a picking clue. Nobody has a clue. Just getting on with the business as usual. Okay, so that's eight. Eight persons. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Hey? Eight big in persons. Videoed. What? Not the event going off. Where's the CCTV footage? You'll never see that. You will never see that. The whole place of Manchester is covered like everywhere else in, in the United Kingdom with CCTV. You can't, you can't sneeze without somebody f catching you on CCTV. You've got it in stores, you've got it on the street, you've got it on the roads, you've got it on high-rise buildings, you've got it everywhere. You can't walk down this... I couldn't walk down this picking street without being filmed. My own picking street. A picking camera, I do. And then I go to the bottom of the picking road and I can look light and there's a big another camera there. <laughs> I walk across the frigging road, I go up the steps and the camera is still watching me. I go up into the steps, I turn right and I've got another set of cameras watching me. And if I turn, when I, if I turn left and go through that shopping centre, open air shopping centre, there's cameras watching me. If I go into any shop, there's cameras watching me. I go into the indoor shopping mall. As soon as I go in, there's, <laughs> there's ball cameras watching me. So if the police go up and say, well, you know, uh, Joe Abbey here, or Joe Bloggs is, is going to stab somebody -ah! down the escalator in, in the closed um, shopping centre, can you call it up? Oh, -ah! Oh, wow, officer, there you are. Oh, look, stab, 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 stab. Oh, got his face, got his colour of his coat, the name of his coat and everything else, his trousers, his trainers, you know, he's foaming at the mouth. And here he is. He's on this CCTV footage here and he's still foaming at the mouth as he's going out. And he's going down the, 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 the outdoor shopping centre here, following, following, goes down the steps to the left. Where he goes out a camera shot here, but he's got a camera shot there. We can follow him and follow him and he lives here. We've gone one, gone, they've gone from one camera to the next camera to the next camera to the next camera to the next camera. And that's the same in Manchester. It's how the United Kingdom is. Sadly, this is yet another fake event. But because the media says it's a true event and film paints a million words, if pictures paint a thousand words, videos must paint a million and people knee jerk, naturally knee jerk to these things. Stop. Whatever you do, stop. 
and a link to stop unobserved because the media is a lying scumbag that is making money out of you and is tricking you. It's scumbag. And the government is even worse. That put that ask organizations, crisis organizations, to put these together. And then they get all the thing filmed at various times of the year, store it up, and then release it to each and every media station on the day that it is set to be released. That is why all the media stations have the same footage, initial footage, at the same time. 